Yeah, we can start. Yeah. So, shall we? Okay. So, Mr. Ackman, you are uh, incredible multi-talent, <laughs> and uh, you did score for one of the best comic movies, X2 United. I uh, agree. <laughs> <laughs> you composed and also edited one of the best movies and movies third usual suspect. Mm -hmm. According to IMDB mm -hmm. and my I, my opinion, and you also um, directed, edited, and scored a horror movie *Urban Legend*, which was number one hit at box office in the United States. And uh, it's an amazing career in movie business. <laughs> and I would like to ask you, which part of filmmaking do you prefer? If it's your scoring or editing or? Directing? Uh, well, scoring is my favorite thing. I, um, editing to me is, is, is fun for about three weeks and then I'm, I'm yeah. really completely over it. <laughs> um, and then I realize I have another year or a year and a half of it. So, um, uh, and um, I love directing, but I just decided to go back into film music for a while. It's a long story. Um, yeah. I was offered a bunch of teen movies after I did Urban Legends and wrong or right decision, I'll never know, but I was like, I don't want to do teen movies, so I went on and kept scoring films. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it really depends on what, you know, if, I, if I've been scoring films back to back for, you know, you're looking for something new, so uh, then directing becomes very attractive. Then after you've been on directing a film for a year and a half, you're, you're completely burned out doing that and I want to go back to, to write a score. So, and then sometimes I tell myself, well, it'd be fun to go edit, edit now, but that doesn't last long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next question. Oh, when you compose music for the movie, is it better for you writing music during shooting or after? After. Um, I mean, it would be fun to write a piece of music like uh, I think Ennio Marconi did for um, uh, uh, One Day in the West, what was it called? Um, Once Upon a Time in the West. Yes. And he wrote this, this piece of music beforehand and he would play it on the set. That would be really fun to do. But in today's movies, that's impossible, pretty much. Uh, they, we don't give the space for, 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 for long segments of music anymore. So 99% um, of the time, you're writing music to picture. And the yeah. picture is dictating to you what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who is your favorite composer? And uh, who is inspiring you the most? Well, everyone knows Gold, Jerry Goldsmith is my idol. He was the, my Jesus, you know. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, I pretty much learned uh, stylistically through him and John Williams and, and um, the composers I grew up with, obviously, and which I think I grew up in the heyday of film music. Um, I think the, the, uh, when I was watching films as a kid, I happened to be a, a young guy when I, in the late 70s and early 80s when I think a lot of these... Uh, um, classic films came out and um, I think it was the best era of film music. Mm -hmm. So just for your information on our magazine we have uh, five profiles of, uh, of conductors and there is John Williams, uh, uh, Jerry Goldsmith uh, and uh, John Ottman. Really? Wow. <laughs> wow. What are they doing on there? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Very, very honored. So mm, the f four question is I, I read one funny trivia about the usual suspects and um, I would like you to ask if it's a myth or true. Okay. So according to this trivia, you realized that one important scene uh, is missing and you sh shooted it in your garden because, oh, yes. uh, because production was run out of money. So how was it? Well, it wasn't because we ran out of money, it's just because it was inexpensive to do it that way. Um, I mean, I don't know what the money reasons were. It was actually in Brian Singer's backyard, where mm -hmm. actually it was the backyard of the guy he was renting a room from. And um, I have to remember this now. It, we needed a shot, to a couple shots of how the fire started on the boat because I changed the story. It used to be um, a bomb was set and blew mm -hmm. up the boat. But it wasn't working that way, mm -hmm. so it had to be a fire. But we had no way to start the fire, mm -hmm. so I thought, well, what if Kaiser Soze is smoking and drops his cigarette, and there's a lot of oil on the boat anyway? So we needed those connecting shots. So um, I'm trying to remember who was the hand and who was the foot. Um, I think <laughs> I was the hand. So we went to Brian's roommate's backyard and we put a little mock-up of the boat on on there and. Um, 
That's right. I I I did the dropping of the cigarette close up, and then mm -hmm. he was the foot that time. <laughs> that went over the cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, that's great. So now there are questions from my colleague <laughs> okay. behind the camera. So uh, his question is: uh, Editing is one of the most important creative tasks in making movie. Uh, why do you use it, and uh, why do you like it? And is your talent for composing uh, music helpful for that task? Yeah, well, I think both uh, editing and music are. are telling stories, you know, and I think the best film composers are those who are who are really just concerned about telling a story, and then obviously those are the best editors who are just concerned about not a bunch of masturbation cutting, but mainly about telling the story correctly. Um, so they work hand in hand um, in terms of sensibility. Um, I'm forgetting the first part of the question. Oh, the editing. The editing. Yeah, editing. Mm -hmm. The editing uh, is the most important thing in a film even though I hate doing it. Um, <laughs> it you know, if the editor is the filmmaker. If everything boils down to the editor. All the problems are thrown into the editor's lap. Um, mm -hmm. The editor is the diplomat between the, the studio and the director. The editor is dealing with visual effects problems. The editor is dealing with what needs to be reshot. It's just, yeah. it's, it's the, the laundry list of what an editor's responsibilities and pressures are, are immense. And um, yet it's the only major person on a film who doesn't make any royalties or residuals. Yeah. Don't make any sense. It's, it's, um, uh, anyway, but um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, editor editing is uh, it's a weird thing for me. I mean, it fulfills some filmmaking needs of mine, but boy, the price is big because um, I lose a lot of scoring work. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what was uh, what was the first uh, in your case, film editing or music composing? And uh, if you will have to. Yeah, it's definitely which you will do too. So it's uh, definitely well, composing. But <laughs> well, the editing came first because that's what I, I went to film school and I was editing people's movies. And you heard the story. I was editing Brian's first feature, and um, the composer dropped out. So I wrote the score, and then from then on, it, um, as I say, the blackmail began, where he wouldn't let me just score the film unless I was also the editor. And it continues to this day. Uh, so, uh, which film you find out is a masterpiece uh, from editorial and soundtrack point of view? Like from both, probably. Hmm. Wow. Um, Maybe the usual suspect? Well, aside from, <laughs> from my own work. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you know, the original Alien is one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, uh, just... Uh, I would say uh, it's going off your question a little bit, but in terms of sound design, mm -hmm. I'm changing your question. Um, yes. Brilliant, because if you think about those days, they didn't have automatic faders or anything like mm -hmm. that, and you hear that sound design with all these custom-made sounds, not anything you've heard before, manipulated and um, and mixed in such a inspired way um, that now when I just hear sound effects from that film, I get freaked out. Aside from the brilliant score that survived in the film and um, and the filmmaking, you know, I just think it's a it's sort of a masterpiece. You know, of course, all the people I know are younger than I am, and they all think Aliens is the best one, but um, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so it's definitely the first one. So thank you for your time. Oh sure. And uh, just a moment. So last thing is. Uh, so this is our national <laughs> care. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so it's uh, it's local. local I, I, I need this in the editing room <laughs> on this movie. Okay. Believe me, this this will be empty. No. But no. Thank you very course. thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate okay. that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.